Hey YouTube, it's uh, Fred from Cleaning Garage back again. Well, in the spirit of uh, our last video, we start a video off with a bit of history and a bit of, bit of context setting. So before we start our work on the truck tonight, I'd like to take you over to another special memory that I had as a, as a young boy in trucks. And here I am with my granddad on a boxing day of a very hot summer, taking a huge load of cattle to the yards um, up in Wagga, but that was from our, our farm in Tumut. And I remember that day like it was yesterday and the smell of the pine tree and the semi-trailer and the Finnemore's truck. And um, I suppose that's why, you know, memories and old trucks and smells, they trigger a lot of emotions, a lot of nostalgia, and also hard work and working with family. That's why today I've got Fred Jr. behind the camera lens and he is going to be uh, supporting me with the story today, but also, you know, He's going to have his own memories from today as well, and obviously it'll be on YouTube, so I'll never be able, be able to forget about it, so. Alright, so our little projects for tonight, we've got three of them. We're going to finish preparing the chassis. We've already done one side of it, although it looks a bit dusty. We need to finish preparing that. We're going to do the other side. That looks rusty as. Again, it's just a bit of surface rust. It'll come off pretty easily, um, and we'll get that prepared. We're going to paint it on the weekend, so all this has to be ready. Um, we're going to Grease our kingpins and shackle bushes. Show you how to do that. Use time lapse as well. And a huge job down here is something that um, took a while to fix, but the whole center bearing assembly and it joins onto the tail shaft. Um, this was really, really loose, and I've just rebushed, um, put new fresh nuts and bolts in, and that's ready to go and paint as well. But that was seriously um, had a lot of play in it quite dangerous too on these these trucks and get a, a big drivetrain vibration going so that's fixed and I'll take you through how we fix that. All right so what we're using today is just a angle grinder with a different uh, flat disc attachment. We've got one of these guys here from you know pick up any hardware store sandpaper flap disc but I find these um, Josco discs I find these really really good this one's about half worn um, but these are uh, like an all-purpose stripping disc they normally come out like with a blue colour. I reckon these are the go. So we'll um, put the safety gear on. Eye protection, ear protection, and we'll get stuck into it. All right, so when it comes to bushes on these old trucks, there's not many second-hand OEM parts getting around. I mean, this is a 1969 International Harvester, so the best thing you can do is either try and find a bush or a, um, a rubber mounts that are similar from another manufacturer. Um, there are some places um, around that you can buy replica parts, or you can go back to the, the mother of all uh, innovation being necessity, you can make your own. So if you have a look at um, the design of the set of bearing here, there are two bushes on either side here of the bolt that goes in through the eyelet. There's bushes inside the eyelet as well. Um, and I pulled all the old ones out and I measured them. And I went to Clark Rubber and I bought a strip of rubber and I started making my own. And all you need, it's pretty simple really, you just need a bit of a router, a bit, a couple of assorted sizes, piece there roughly around the diameter, put a bolt through. And Bob's your uncle, you can make your own bushes. So that's what I've done here. So all these bushes are handmade. Um, they're the right spec, right size. And as you can see, 
there ain't much play in that apart from um, obviously what you can feel on the tail shaft there, but this used to flop around like nobody's business. It was all over the show. And obviously um, that's pretty dangerous when you're you know, either in the paddock or on the road and you've got a, a wobbling tail shaft, it's not a good spot to be. So one of the most important maintenance aspects of owning a truck like this is you've got to keep the grease up to it. So we use this Valvoline Valplex EP grease. It works pretty well. Um, but to apply it, you've got to have a, a grease gun with the associated hose on it. So we'll show you where all the grease points are on these internationals. Won't do the front hangers um, today. We'll show you the rears and we'll do the, the set of bearing. First one's here at the front. Yep. See the nipple just there. I'll do that in a second. On the rear hanger, top of the leaf spring, and there's one underneath here too. So we'll do that. And then on the center bearing, there's actually a couple. There's one on the housing here, and one on the yoke as well. So we'll do all those. And then we'll have a greased up truck. All right, so these hangers were done recently, but we'll top them up. Connect your hose on. And you'll know when there's enough grease in there, you'll see it start coming over the top there. So that one's done. As you can see, I'll go underneath. You'll probably see it on the left hand side here. Yep, that one's done too. And there's plenty of grease coming out on the other side of the hanger there. We'll go do the... Oh, this is a bit of a tricky spot. Yeah, we'll be right. That one's full. Yep, and that one's starting to come through here. You can see it in, in the gap of the universal joint here. If I squeeze, yep, she's coming through. All right. Well, time to get some citrus cleaner on these hands and go and see what's for dinner. So that concludes our video for tonight. We've done a couple of little jobs, um, and that's, that's the thing with these project trucks. You've got to do a bit every night. You know, don't think about work, come out, relax. Um, do a few jobs and get a bit of progress done, mark a few things off your list. So tonight we marked off um, obviously preparing the other side of the chassis rail for painting. We've, uh, we've greased the truck, we've shown you the bushes and what we've done there. And more importantly, we've got ourselves motivated for on the weekend, it's a long weekend. We're going to get the truck out, we're going to start it, we're going to wash it, we're going to drive around the paddock. And um, you've heard it start up, but it's cool to see these old trucks moving around. And um, I'm getting super motivated to get this tray. I cannot wait. Um, so on that note, don't do it for Dale, do it for Brocky. We'll see you later.